I've always been into Porsches, but you know, growing up during the 80s, obviously the same story as everyone of that era. It had the 930 Turbo, you had the Testarossa, and so on, the Lamborghini Countach. But for me, it was just always the black, on black, 911, 930 Turbo. That was my absolute dream car. That's kind of why I bought the, the SC. It was, at the time, I couldn't buy the 930, I couldn't afford it, so I, I went to, with the closest one. I got the same the G body version, but not the wide body, um, so, but it's, it's almost there. <laughs> I'm David Campo and I'm the founder of uh, Nezumi Studios and president of Roughneck Brigade and I'm um, based in Stockholm, Sweden. My career has always been within fashion. I was studying to become an art director. It was the IT boom exactly when I graduated so there was no jobs and I didn't have anything to do so I was like okay might as well try my own thing and now in hindsight, it was basically my, my schooling into the fashion industry, I'd say. So that company never really took off, but I learned a lot, I traveled around, I found a lot of suppliers and you know, taught myself how that whole supply chain works and, and so on. So Nozomi is my brand which was actually kind of a side project that I had. I've always been a watch collector since I was a kid. We had a, a watchmaker in the family, and so it's, it's, it's been a passion. I love all things mechanical as well. One night, literally, I, I woke up where I couldn't sleep or whatever it was, so I, I had this design in my head, and I went up and I started drawing a watch, uh, which is the uh, Motil. So that's uh, the watch that started the whole uh, watch game for Nazumi. Back then, it was kind of kind of a hype to go via Kickstarter to uh, crowdfund your project. I remember launching at midnight and going to bed, waking up in the morning, and it's like checking my Kickstarter, and I was fully funded within like eight or nine hours. And then it ran for uh, the remainder of 30 days. And yeah, so that was a, that was a great start. After that, I released the Balain, which is a whale in French. And that was a dive watch. After that, I released the Lowe's. It's also a racing-inspired chronograph. It's actually the one I'm wearing today. The last watch I released is the Corbeau, which is uh, a more of a military-style chronograph. All watches are 70s, 60s inspired um, style in, in a 40 millimeter case. Yeah, so this is uh, my uh, first car, my first Porsche. Um, an 82 911 SC, which is basically stock. It's not modified mechanically much, but you know, I like I like the racing look. So I have a lot of decals on it, custom exhaust, you know, a few few trinkets here and there. You know, like racing seats, Momo for the people, steering wheels, of course. But it's 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 a good trusty car. You know, I've been driving it for you know from Amsterdam to Stockholm, back and forth to, to Germany several times, and so on. So it's it's definitely my go-to car. And I got my next Porsche, which is a 1966 912. Four years ago, uh, two years after the black one, it, it it was a short wheelbase car to begin with, obviously for the 66, but. Uh, changed to a G body at one point and then the guy that I bought it from had backdated it to a 73 RS look so uh, in kind of a Nardo gray so that's how I got it and then I had a different vision for it I wanted like a 67 R look um, so I took everything apart took it down to bare metal and rebuilt it again into to what it is today Uh, 
And then my Smurf, my, my 1977 911S. The 77S is a G body, but it's been backdated. When I bought it, it was actually a uh, 74 uh, 3 liter RS, which is called the IROC. Uh, it was orange, so there's some parts lying around from, from when it was an IROC, you can see. Yeah, so I backdated it to a early 73 RSR. So the RSR had the uh, air intake front bumper, but I, I wasn't a really big fan of that. So I actually did the ST front bumper and had it widened by a company in England called EB Motorsport. So they did all the fiberglass parts for me. And then I asked them, can you do the ST front uh, by just widening it so it fits the RSR flares? And yeah. It was possible, so I had that done. From the rear, it looks like a 73 RSR, and from the front, it looks more like a slightly wider ST, I'd say. I started Roughneck Brigade, which is a uh, air-cooled Porsche club. Well, it wasn't a club to begin with. I got the badge from the Swedish Porsche club. I didn't like it, so I didn't want to put that on the car. My whole life, I've, been, I've always wanted to put my own touch on things, whatever it is. It's kind of a sickness that I have. So I had to make my own badge. I just felt the need of it. So I made a design and had a bronze cog skull badge made which is our emblem today. I put that on my car, I created an Instagram account and just started posting random photos that I found of Porsches and, and also of my black car. And then, you know, eventually people started contacting me asking about the badge, if they could get one and so on. And we're in uh, eight countries and we're about close to 80 members. And so Roughneck has an annual trip every year in Europe called Too Cool to Cruise. We were just in Hamburg few weeks ago, uh, which was our third year with Too Cool to Cruise. The actual, it's the fourth year of a club trip actually, but the first one was called the Maiden Cruise, um, which was a trip from Amsterdam to Stockholm. So we uh, go to one place, and stay there for a few days, and then just take day trips, you know, to drive out, basically just hang out. <laughs> I also host a, an event called the Tunnel Raiders. It's just basically a, a kicking tire thing. You, you meet up, a bunch of cars. It's a classic sports car event, so it's not just Porsche. And I'm, I'm very much uh, like pushing that because I don't want just Porsches around. I just really trying to get all brands. This uh, year's Tunnel Raiders is going to be held at um, Porsche Center. It's the uh, national day in Sweden that I mean, during the event. So we're expecting maybe about, I don't know, 60, 70 cars or more. From, from my experience, there's probably going to be a lot of Porsches, but I'm hoping for different brands as well. Yeah, so during uh, Tunnel Raiders, we'll have an Asumi tent. Uh, we'll be selling watches at a slightly discounted price, uh, and all the proceeds go to charity. Tunnel Raiders is all about driving the tunnels of the city. We have a few long ones, really nice ones. We try to keep it safe, and, and uh, we have a pace car and so on, but you know, people are very trigger happy with the throttle. So uh, yeah, we have a good time. We blast through the tunnels.